new episode on Stranded Deep. Now, when we first log into the game, we have something called Play Stranded Deep or Play Stranded Deep with Direct X9. So, we're going to try the Direct X9 version and we carry on from last time where we worked off. Now, we managed to learn how to cook, we managed to learn how to make fresh water, um, we, we haven't managed, we've managed how to build a few things, not much, but you know, we thought today we would try and make a few more fish traps. We've got one with a crab in, we've got one, um, we, we, we know how to catch fish now because we've got the spear so we can use that to catch fish. Um, obviously we're just waiting for the world to load and we're just going to see what's out there. I want to go deeper into the water because we've been reading the forums and stuff like that and <laughs> we're, we're just, I think we've got a little bit more safe on this now so we're going to make a note of how many episodes that we're going to do. We're only going to do seven and then we're going to take a break and then we're going to be doing uh, something else. So someone's just joined us. So Spawns Lily Hope, welcome to the channel. Um, if I knew it was going to take this long to load. Oh, here we go. Now, this episode that you're seeing, I can't remember which episode it, it, it will be, is using Direct X9. Now, hopefully, this might be a little bit better for um, our computer. Now, as you can see, we've got a little bit more waveform and that because because my computer is not really good for streaming, but I love streaming. We've got uh, a little bit more better graphics, and I think we're going to be using the DirectX 9 uh, on there. So, first of all, let's have a look at our watch, which is F, and if we press the left mouse button, we can see that we are low on food we don't have um, a lot of food so we're going to go with um, our knife crude spear um, pocket knife okay and we're going to go and um, get some potatoes because we know that we've got some potatoes here I mean this game is absolutely amazing I mean it's um quite quite good i've not got no problems with it ah crab crab now this is what i like about crab um it's very good now just in case you're new to the game like me you don't know how to kill a crab with a spear you press the left mouse button and then what you do is press the right mouse button and then the left mouse button and it takes it off the hook because I was off, off the spare point so I was wondering how um, that was uh, going to be working now crabs don't show up yeah don't show up on there so you've got to be uh, careful again on there now we have made a bed um, the things that we can't do is we can't destroy that bed okay so that sound there which sounds like a little fart <laughs> no other way to describe it yeah we've got direct x9 is so much better um, is that because our inventory is full so let's go and see what we've got here We've got a campfire here which has got nothing on, so we've got um, got to throw some of this stuff down. Well, let's escape out of that. Um, and let's just put the bits and pieces that we don't want. So we can throw the tarpaulin down. Uh, we can throw the planks down put the planks on the on the same pile 
Yeah, um, what have we got? We've got three rocks here. Is that a rock pile? As you can see, we found a bucket and everything. Uh, we've got some steel here, so we'll throw that over here. Steel scrap. This is corrugated. Now we did we did make a corrugated platform out to uh, out to sea, yeah. And there is a reason that we did that. Now we jump on here we get our spear right and the reason that we did this was simply because I don't know if we've done it um, far out enough because it's high tide because I have noticed that you do have tides in here that when you get fish like that come near You should, hopefully, not always going to be the case, be able to go and um, catch them. But fish are tricky. Fish are tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get some sticks. Um, we'll get uh, our sticks here. We'll collect our sticks, and what we do is we'll click on the on the campfire. Not sure what. Uh, I think that's on there. Yeah, it's on there now, and then we'll get the lighter. The lighter never runs out, by the way. Okay, and then we get our crab. And make sure, even though it's a bit difficult to see, that you click on the um, the rope. Now, you can see that you're not on the rope there. You can see you're on the rope there because it highlights and that will put the crab um, on there now we don't we didn't have to stay out at night but I thought we would do just to do a night soon because if you click on the bed you'll go to sleep yeah and if you look our food is low if you left click on here you can see that's meant to be raining the temperatures high yeah And what you do, you just wait until um, the crab is finished. But make sure you, you've got an empty hand. Okay, you want an empty hand. Now what I do want to try is we've got the hammer. I want to see if we can... See, there's a sleep mode. Now I wanted to see if we could go back to back if we could uh, break it now it's raining now so this is our first rain we want to pick up the bucket um, not sure how to put the bucket down So we get our crab meat, okay. If you see it, it's gone up one, yeah. And so we now get the next crab, put the crab on the campfire. Now this is where we should have been building a shelter. 
so really what we, what we need to do is get the hammer whoops uh, we want the hammer in our hand and let's see now we can't rush um, where is it, is it C? no it's C for crafting so you need to click on the house yeah and you need foundation and wood sticks so we're going to have the wood foundation Close. so we need to go and get some more wooden sticks I'm just going to hopefully wait until this is good we're going to stay near enough by the fire Where things come to worst, you can always stand under a tree. Right, we can go and get our, our um, Our potatoes. There we go. They highlight in blue. It means because you're going to be uh, building. So we've got to put crab. See we've got another one there, so it's not doing us very good there. And just get some more food on. Again, make sure you're on the uh, blue bit. It's only a little bit of a shower, but it shows you that um, we do need to get um, our food up. So we're going to be looking at a new place to, to camp. Now, we can't destroy things, which is a bit of a nuisance, but I'm not too fussed about that. Um, but we're going to go along the seafront here at the, at the moment. I'm not sure how long a baked potato takes. So we've got more planks, which is good. Now that does cover half the flipping screen. So there we go. Baked potatoes done. So always try and best to cook as much as you possibly can all at once because uh, finding wood and stuff like that I haven't learnt how to chop down a tree yet okay so we've got uh, the baked potato there so we're now going to eat the baked potato now remember we're only on three here Let's put it put let's put us up to four. So we'll take that one and again only do one at a time because if you have it on a uh, four, if you have them all in, yeah, you'll eat a raw potato and you uh, don't want to uh, you don't want to do that. So let's have a look at the crafting menu for the um, floor driftwood floor ah yeah that's the floor 
so we can't uh, do that wedge foundation wedge floor foundation floor and you can see that we've got driftwood here which it needs um, for their wood sticks wood planks uh, that's a raft sorry planks scrap okay so we can build uh, the foundation for the first one there we go look it's cooked potato okay so we now make sure that we eat that and again check so we only got four so I think it takes two potatoes for every bar While we're here, we do have a fish trap. I'm not too happy about this fish trap. Now I want to go and see if we've got anything in here. Doesn't look like we have. Still haven't got it. for our potato there we go so we'll take the potato go and check on our F yeah crabs are really really much better whoops not sure about fish right so we've got we've got a few we'll have a look out for a few crabs But we want to find a nicer base, nicer area to start um, to start with. And I think this is the better place over here. Now we come across driftwood here. Now this really is a nice shallow area. We're go we're gonna chop this up, so we're gonna get the axe. there's the potato so we'll we'll get that in a minute not too worried about it to be honest now we want to uh, build our shelter Driftwood there. Now I don't know if we can take down one of these trees. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. So 
I mean it is moving, it is letting us do the action. How long it takes, we don't know if if it does do anything. About closer there. So anyway, we'll give up on that idea, it's not doing anything by the look of it, so I was thinking this is like a nice little place here, it's a little bit open, we've got the sea quite near us, we'll have some driftwood, we know the camp is over there, um, probably a little bit too open for the uh, water and stuff like that, but I think here will be quite a nice shelter, we've got some palm trees there and I think we'll start off here I don't know if we have any tropical storms or anything like that but we don't know so we get our hammer now and we'll go to uh, craft and we want foundation and we've got uh, driftwood so we'll craft that and you can have it you can you can actually stand up high on it as long as you go there but we're not uh, too worried about that uh, so we're going to put uh, that one there okay and then obviously we're going to want a few of these so we'll craft another foundation like so yeah and because we can jump up into there now we're going to do it so i've got a a, a a door a doorway so this will take us a little bit of a while to do okay so we've got that there that will be our doorway yeah so we'll go into the craft menu again now this time you can have a step okay so you've got driftwood lashing plank scraps so we can have a, a step there but we're going to be looking at the uh, we're going to have a look at a wall what do we need for the wall again it's driftwood um, so it's all see ah oh, we've got a tarp uh, a tarp wall okay uh, corrugated scraps, container panel, steel scraps. So we can make quite a good use of it. Hi Sid! Right, so I take it the Star Wars thing is not very good then. So this is the, the start of our foundation of our house. So we're going to make uh, quite a big quite a reasonably big house but we've got some more driftwood over here now don't forget the hammer won't work okay you've got to make sure you go back to your axe So we'll, we'll take these, you see. Now, I'm wondering whether we can't cut down trees now because we get a lot more driftwood and stuff that, that is coming. We still are very low on um, what is it? Um, low on um, fiber to get um, I think it's yucca plants so again we change the hammer we're noticing that axe is uh, coming down so I can do a couple more on the driftwood there and um, where are we 
craft foundation. Yeah, we can craft that one. And then we can craft another one there. So you can see that we, we, we're starting to get a nice big uh, foundation here. Um, we've got the tree in the way. Hopefully that will not be too much of a problem. If we if, if it is, we'll just extend it um, out one that way. I, I didn't think it would be that bad. So we'll go back to our axe. Check on our food. We're down to three, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for some crabs. Or potatoes or something. This is this seems doesn't seem to be anything not highlighted we can swing at it but you can swing the axe at any time you see so it's got to be highlighted if it doesn't highlight it's it's a waste of uh, of uh, energy so we've got the sunset again So you can see that you've got a small tree here. So you can see that you can take the tree down for some sticks. Try not to take too many of the trees down. There's, there's enough driftwood and everything out here. So we've got a fairly big island. Go along the shore. driftwood here two lots of driftwood here so this is uh, good for us say as long as you walk along the beach you'll um, just carry on picking up bits and pieces ok so here's another lot Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting a new video card, um, Sid. I'm very looking forward to it. Now this is doing like three to five frames per second and this is like on the DirectX 9. Um, so we're actually going to go back to what it was because of the frame rate. Right, that means we're full. So we can't go back uh, any more there. Let's 
so we'll, we'll, we'll go back now to uh, go and build so we want the hammer this time it's always best on the island before you uh, st know, know it to stay near the beach we've got a lot of open places ho over here and hopefully this will be where we can have farmland because you're meant to be able to uh, farm later on um, in, in the uh, in future updates right so here's our wooden decking now don't forget once you put in a decking right yeah you can't undo it you can't break it which I think is uh, a sad point because obviously if you was in a survival situation you would be able to uh, break it down but that's it for this episode here and we're going to um, go back now and we're going to leave this episode here but we're going to save the game and then we're going to be back in about five minutes because we're going to take off the direct direct x9 because uh we're finding that we're losing a lot of frame frame rates today it could be because it's a lot of usage and stuff like that but we're going to take it off so we'll be a few minutes have fun stay safe and we'll see you soon <laughs>